The Undertaker shares his thoughts on Sami Zayn and the Bloodline. We've got an update on Andrade. Tony Khan confirms that AR Fox is all elite. And lots more. Hey there everyone, it's Denise Saucedo. You're watching the latest and I got plenty of news for you here today. So we're gonna go ahead and kick it off with The Undertaker's recent comments on Sami Zayn and the Bloodline. The Undertaker recently spoke to Sports Illustrated about Sami Zayn's role in the Bloodline. The Undertaker says that Sami Zayn's character is very intriguing, saying, quote, it is very clear who the Bloodline is and what they stand for and they go out and they do their deal. But adding Sammy, that gives so many more layers. The Undertaker even went as far as to say that it is great storytelling. Sammy is a vital part of the whole thing and he's never been a bigger star. But it is also important for the bloodline. It gives them something new. But it's a new dynamic with Sammy in there. How can you not enjoy this? It's great storytelling. And speaking of Sammy Zayn, Sammy appeared on WWE's After the Bell, where he was asked about his advice that he would give to upcoming professional wrestlers. Take a look. Sammy Zayn said that is actually a tough question to answer because there is no blueprint, saying, quote, There's one thing I've learned is really everybody has a different path. There's things that work for one person and just not work for another. He also mentioned seizing opportunities and making sure to always stand out. And we've got tons of AEW updates today, so let's get right to it. Tony Khan announces that AR Fox is All Elite. He took to Twitter to share his All Elite graphic. It had been known that AEW had offered AR Fox a contract during a backstage segment following his match on AEW Dynamite in early November. AR Fox had teamed with Top Flight in a losing effort to the AEW Trios Champions, Death Triangle. It was his seventh match with the promotion. His previous six bouts all took place on episodes of Dark and Dark Elevation. In a recent interview with Fightful Select, Dax Harwood says he believes FTR's AEW contracts expire at the end of April 2023. Dax mentioned that they have had a lot of talks about their future and even mentioned potentially taking a year off of wrestling for major companies, noting that they simply want to do things that are fun for them. Dax said that having the opportunity to work more across the independent wrestling scene and with various companies led them to find out how much they love that landscape. Tony Khan says he would love to have Ricky Steamboat back in AEW. Steamboat was a guest timekeeper on AEW's House of the Dragon themed episode back in August. Tony Khan appeared on Busted Open Radio today and said that the door is open for Steamboat to return to the promotion. Steamboat recently returned to the ring for the first time in 12 years over the weekend. He teamed with FTR and defeated Nick Aldis, Jay Letho, and Brock Anderson for BPW Return of the Dragon on Sunday. Andrade El Idolo wrote on social media that he recently underwent surgery for a torn pectoral muscle. On Twitter, he wrote that he suffered the injury a few months ago during a match. He was scheduled to face 10 of the Dark Order during the October 5th taping of AEW Rampage, but was suspended from the company following a backstage altercation with Sammy Guevara. And now on to some Impact Wrestling news. Tasha Steeles has resigned with Impact Wrestling. The former Knockouts champion revealed the news during an interview with the Miami Herald. She would also comment on what led to her decision to resign with Impact, saying, quote, if there's anybody that gives you the opportunity to really be yourself and just go out there and be yourself and not have to change you, it's definitely Impact. So definitely have to stay here. Additionally, Impact Wrestling and DAZN are partnering together for an interview international distribution deal. It was announced yesterday that Anthem Sports and DAZN have agreed to a partnership that will deliver Anthem's Impact Wrestling to more than 170 countries worldwide beginning on November 29th. StarCast announced that Conrad Thompson will be teaming with Mickey James and Nick Aldis for a pro wrestling event and fan festival for late 2023 in Oceania called Oceania Pro Wrestling. Knox News has a story on Glenn Jacobs, known to pro wrestling fans as Kane, the mayor of Knox County, Tennessee, settling a lawsuit that alleged he asked county employees to work at his home and pressured a department head to lie to state investigators and cursed at them when they refused. And last but not least, participants for the Iron Survivor Challenge taking place at NXT Deadline on December 10th 
have been named. The Men's Iron Survivor Challenge will include Carmelo Hayes, JD McDonough, Grayson Waller, and Joe Gacy. The fifth person will be decided in a wild card match. A match between Von Wagner, Axiom, and Andre Chase will determine the final participants in the men's match. As for the Women's Iron Survivor Challenge, Zoe Stark, Cora Jade, Kiana James, and Roxanne Perez have been named. Additionally, there will be a women's triple threat match to determine the final participant. This will include Wendy Chu, Fallon Henley, and Indy Hartwell. Well, there you go. That was your quick news roundup for today. Before I go, do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online, and I'll catch you later tonight on Speak Now Pro Wrestling as I recap AEW Dynamite. See you on the next vid.